Hello friends. Are you ready to make your own heart character for Valentine's Day? All you need is really just two pieces of paper. I'm using another piece of paper because I really wanted a solid red colored um, shape for my character. But if you want, you can do the shape on a piece of paper and just color it with a red crayon or any color crayon that you would like, just depending what kind of character you'd like to do. So I'm just gonna put this red piece to the side and I'll show you uh, what I do with that after. But for now, we're just going to make a heart shape and I'm just going to show you a little trick how to create your own heart shape that's balanced on both sides. So I'm just gonna take one eight by 10 piece of paper here and I've got the horizontal length this way and uh, the vertical length over here. So the shorter side here and the longer side closest to me. And I'm going to take the one side and fold it all the way over. I'm going to try to get it as close as I can to the corners matching as I can. And then I'm just going to pinch this down so that I've got a crease. And it doesn't need to be totally perfect, but just as best as you can. Next, I'm going to take, oops, got a little piece of tissue on there, a, piece, a round, anything round, whatever you've got that's round. And I'm going to use this to trace. So for my shape, I'm going to make a heart because it's Valentine's Day. I'm just taking the red thing, whatever it is, whether you use a cup, you can use a cup if you want, a bowl, um, or you can just use, like I am, a roll of tape, just something that's round and a good size, and put it close to your fold here. This is the side that opens, and this is the folded side, and I'm going to make half of a heart. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna trace all the way around, because sometimes it's hard to make a heart shape. So I'm just showing you how you can make your own heart shape. So I'm going about halfway around. Can you see where I started here? And I went all the way around to about here. And then I'm gonna take that off. And then I'm gonna take something that has a straight edge. I know that sometimes we don't all have rulers. So I'm just going to use a piece of this bristle board. And what I'm going to do is put the edge of the bristle board as close as I can to this line. And I can make my heart as short or as tall as I want it to be. So you can make it as whatever size you like. I kind of like my hearts to be a little bit rounder, a little bit wider. So I'm going to just line that up as close as I can to that line. And then I'm going to take my pencil and go, or my crayon and go down like that. And it'll, you can tell where I've connected it there, but when I cut it, you won't be able to see it anymore. So you just take your child friendly scissors and cut along the circle or along the heart shape. I go just around the outside of the crayon or pencil mark so that I'm getting the biggest shape that I can. And it's okay sometimes we don't cut exactly on the line and that's all right because we're always learning and getting better every time we try. Okay, so this is my heart. And if I want, I can just use this. I can color this in with a crayon if I want, um, or leave it white or whatever color paper that you have. But I don't want the fold in my, in my character. So I'm going to use a piece of bristle board and you can use any kind of paper you want. If you wanted to have a heart shape but without the fold, you could just grab another piece of paper like that, the white piece of paper, and use it to color on. And I'm using this side because I already have some crayon here. So when I trace this, I'm going to leave crayon marks on the paper a little bit. So then this side will still be clean if I want to use it for another project. So I'm just going to go as close as I can to the corners because I like to save paper. I'm going to take my crayon again and I'm just going to start at the point and then go all the way around tracing my template. So what we did with this was make a template that we can use anytime. We can save it or we can use it as our character. Whoop, I went a little bit onto the paper there. Just go all the way around. And then I can save this for later for another project or for another craft if I want to color. So I'm going to start at one of the closest edges. And this time I am going to try to cut inside the crayon mark so that I don't have any on my 
craft just in case I want to use both sides because sometimes we might have it in a window or hanging it, hang it from a ceiling where it's spinning when the air blows. So then you want both sides to look nice. So I'm just going to cut along the inside of the tracing that we did. And just do the best that you can. Our lines don't always have to be straight or perfect, especially when we are just learning. They will get better the more that we practice. So there's my heart and I'm just going to put my scrap paper in my bin that I use for later. And I'm just gonna put the heart over here for just one second. Next, I'm going to show you how to make arms and legs. So you have a choice, you can make short legs, or you can make long legs. And I think I'm gonna make long legs. So what I'm going to do um, to help make them all the same size is I'm going to fold it and then I'm going to cut it. So I'm gonna fold this in. And I know you don't always have rulers, so I'm just going to show you. I'm going to, it's going to be about two crayons thick. Can you see that for my paper? So I'm folding it in and I'm just using my two crayons as a guideline. The thicker you make it, the stronger it will be, and the thinner you make it, um, the weaker it will be. So it might rip a little bit easier if you don't make this wide enough, but about two crayons wide. And then I'm just going to flip it over, and I'm going to fold where this flap is at the top, and then I'm going to fold it at the bottom here and go up. And I'm doing this because I don't have a ruler handy and I want my lines, my um, arms and legs to be similar in size. So I'm just making sure that this flap is on the edge here. Can you see that there? So I'm kind of making an accordion. So I've got one, two, three, I need one more. So flip it over again, and I'm just folding, if you can see that, I'm folding where this bend is. That's how I know where to bend. And I'll crease it one more time. And then while this is still folded like an accordion, I'm just gonna go along here and cut, cut it off. This way we don't have to measure or draw out lines with a ruler. Oh, I made five. I didn't count very well. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. So I'm just going to cut across or cut down this crease from the fold that we made. And it doesn't have to be straight. It will add character if they're a little bit off and it's okay because we're just practicing and it, we will get better the more we practice. So there's two. How many legs and arms are you going to make for your character? I made an assumption that you would just want four, two arms and two legs, but you can make it as many arms and legs as you want. If you want it to look like a spider, you can have eight legs, or you can have three arms and three legs, two legs and four arms, five arms and two legs, whatever you like. So I have an extra one. I do just want to have four. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this like an accordion. So I'm just gonna fold it up so that it kind of looks like a square. And I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna fold it again. So I'm just folding it close to that line. And again, if it's not perfect, that's okay. It'll just add character. So I just flip it over. And I'm going to do this with all four of these. Don't worry, I won't wait. You make you wait for me to do all these. I will fast 
forward through these so that you don't have to watch me do them all. Save some time and you can pause the video if you're following along uh, for you to do yours as well. It's not quite a square there, but that's okay. Okay, so then I've kind of got an accordion look and I want four of those and you can do however many legs you want for your character and arms. Just keep pinching it as you go along. It takes a little bit of time. It's kind of fun. Okay. So now we've got four. And you're going to take your heart and you're going to decide which is the front and which is the back. So you can pick whichever one. If you've got crayon on there from when you were tracing, make that piece your back. And then I'm going to take the glue and I'm going to stick it, I'm going to turn it around and stick it this way so that the arm sticks forward. This is his arm. So we want this bump sticking up. And if you do it the other way, that's okay too. The character's arms and legs can go whichever direction you would like. So now I'm going to stick that on there. Oops. And then I'll get another one. And you can put your arms and legs wherever you want. Actually, let's see. Maybe I want them up here. Maybe that would be nicer. Let's give that a try. It's okay to change your mind too. I think it might be kind of fun up there. Oh, I'm knocking over everything right now. And then we'll give him some legs. Just squeeze those so that they've got some more bounce to them. And I have some googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can just draw your eyes on. But I happen to have some googly eyes, so I'm going to glue those on. You can put them wherever you want. You can give them two eyes, one eye, three eyes, four eyes. You can have seven eyes. You can have one down low and one up high, maybe like that, wherever you would like it to be. Let's put some glue on the back. Oh, that one didn't stick very well. And press those down. And I don't have anything for a nose or mouth, so I'm just going to draw a little nose and a little mouth. And that's my little Valentine. If you want, if you've got some yarn, you can put some hair on top. I do usually have a little bag of extra yarn, so let's have a peek here. I've got, ooh, I even have some pink, pink for Valentine's Day. What do you think of that? You can just do a couple pieces. I just keep my extra yarn from my crafts and my crochet projects, put them in a bag for this kind of reason. So we can do whatever we like. Or you can draw some hair on, or maybe give them a little hat. And if your glue stick doesn't work, you might want to get some white glue. And just stick it wherever you want. If you use white glue in a bottle, it just may take a little bit longer to dry and that's okay. Good things come when we wait. I have to wait for things sometimes. What do you think of his hair? I keep saying he. What do you think I should name this little guy? 
something to do with Valentine's? There you go. Oh, I have one more piece here. Uh, there we go. So there's our fun little character that we've made for Valentine's Day. I just wanted to show you that you can add on to your little heart character in whatever way you'd like. I cut out some little hearts. I made another little template here of a little tiny heart. And then I made some red hearts and I'm attaching them to the end of his feet and his arms. So I'm just putting some glue on the end there and then taking the heart and sticking it on there. Same with this one. Just take the last little square and attach the heart to it. Then you've got some hands and some feet for your little character. Click the like button and select subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos.